Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in this video I'll be reviewing the CG Boost's new environment course and in a way promoting it because I think it is an excellent course. So I say promoting but the main focus is review where I'll talk about the good sides and the bad sides but I do have an affiliated link in the description so you'll be supporting me if you click on that. It is my honest opinion and the integrity of this channel is all important to me so I don't promote anything that I don't believe in. With that in mind, do look at the comments and comment for others so they can see if, well, you can see if you agree with it and they can see whether you agree with me as well. So to start off with, the course is a bit confusing at the moment because it's not complete. So uh, if you are purchasing, just be aware that it is early access. And if you get it now, there is more content on the way, of course. Now the course is really well thought out it's really well presented, they highlight certain areas that they're pointing to, so it's nice and easy to comprehend and see what's going on. There's a really clear explanation throughout and nothing's glossed over, it's all very sort of in-depth. Now this course is not for complete beginners and I don't think it aims to be by any means. Do their Launchpad course first, that's really good, very very in-depth and I would thoroughly recommend that. Or do a fair bit of studying beforehand, but don't attempt it as a complete beginner. So as a simple example, the instructor talks about a noise texture at some points without really explaining what a noise texture is as such. It doesn't make too much difference, but it could confuse uh, the complete beginner, I would say. There's a lot of exploration of the shader editor and explanation about nodes. It might have been nice to have a little more explanation, but it's a tricky one to find that balance. So just be aware it's not for complete beginners, like I keep saying. Now that shouldn't put you off, it's just things to be aware of so you know what to expect. I think it's useful to work with nodes even if you don't understand them and have a play around and then you can figure things out, which is exactly what's encouraged in this course. Now I say it's not for complete beginners, but I believe there's a beginners section being added later apparently, so that will probably help smooth the transition from the Launchpad course into this, and maybe for those who are completely new to this type of thing. Also, I imagine with a little bit of feedback, they'll probably iron out any issues that they see. And that's another really good thing about this. They do offer support and they have a community and access to the course is for the lifetime of the course, as it were. Obviously, it's gonna run out after about five years when they do a completely different course and Blender's moved on, but you have got that access to any updates, which I think is really important. One in particular section that they're going to add later on is the geometry nodes, and obviously Blender isn't quite there yet, um, so they're waiting to implement that section, but I think that's gonna be a really interesting one, and I'm looking forward to that. It's probably worth pointing out as well they use a few add-ons, which may put some people off. It really shouldn't. They're all free add-ons, and they're really, really useful, uh, but some people seem to get annoyed when there's add-ons involved and they have to download something else. But like I say, they are really useful, really important, so it's well worth it. So overall, this is a really good course, particularly for those looking to go a little beyond the beginner stages in their Blender understanding. So I'm really happy to recommend it. I was really impressed when I was going through it and well done to the CG Boost team once again. It really is worth checking out their other content as well, like Substance Painter, their sculpting course. Even though sculpting has moved on a little bit, the basic understanding and the principles are really, really useful there. So do follow the links in the description to find out more. Be aware though that you are supporting me if you click on those links and I get a tiny bit of commission. And of course I appreciate the support. I do hope this review is useful though and it gives you an insight into what the course is about from an outside perspective. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.